I'm Kelly Warner. The Centers for Disease Control, the American Academy of Family Physicians, and the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that children receive 25 immunizations by the time they're 15 months old. That may seem like a lot, but there's a reason why certain vaccines are given at specific times in a child's life and why it's so important to follow the recommended schedule. Pediatrician Dr. Pilar Bradshaw says when it comes to immunizations, parents often have a lot of questions. Your pediatrician doesn't create their advice about vaccines from nothing. There's the Centers for Disease Control and the Immunization Practices Subcommittee of that puts out information every year and updates it to give us the very best research supported data on when to immunize and what to immunize with. Parents often ask, how are the timing and spacing of shots determined? Dr. Bradshaw says they're scheduled for the age when the body's immune system will work the best and balanced with the importance of providing protection to infants and children at the earliest possible age. The reason that the schedule is very heavily loaded towards babies is because those are the children that have the least natural immunity, the least ability to fight a disease. Why are three or more doses of some vaccines needed? So part of the research on every vaccine is figuring out how long does the booster last? So some vaccines, you only need to have two. Some you need to have five and they're closer together. And that indicates how quickly the antibody levels from the vaccine drop so that you need to be boosted up again. Can shots be spread out over a longer period of time? The simple answer is no, because it leaves children unprotected. Really, there's a reason that the schedule is what it is. And if you delay it, remember, you're le letting your kids' antibody levels drop to a point where they're no longer protected as optimally. Does it overwhelm a child's immune system to give multiple shots in one visit? Dr. Bradshaw says this is one of the biggest myths when it comes to vaccines. The answer is no. Infants and children are exposed to more germs every day just by playing, eating, and breathing than what is in any combination of vaccines on the schedule. Another group of kids that healthcare providers should see regularly for immunizations is teenagers. They are at risk for dangerous illnesses such as HPV and meningitis that can be prevented. To access the recommended immunization schedule, just head to eugenepeds.com slash healthykids. I'm Kelly Warner.